can you create engaging content with a new 10 and a half inch iPad Pro and Apple Pencil? The answer is a resounding yes. Hi, my name is Hung Doan, also known as Four Staff Photography on Instagram. We manage a, a active toy photography account that produces engaging daily original content. You may have seen some of the images in the press or at some of the uh, comic conventions under the hashtag Hasbro toy pick. And people often ask us, how do you create your content? And I usually tell them it's using iOS. And it pretty much blows them away when they find that out. Um, we'll do retouching, image compositing, special effects. We we'll even do uh, animated uh, short stories with stop motion, cinemagraphs, and behind the scenes to give our readers and followers a, a glimpse of how we create our content. And this is all done using the iPad and the new iPad Pro now. So let me start off with a fun app that I've been, I've been playing with. Um, this is Plotograph Photo, and this is like a watch that I did. Uh, it's a cinemagraph. Uh, using the Apple Pencil, you could do like animated uh, effects with still images. So taking this watch here, I'm masking out the bubbles and drawing plot points to, uh, to animate motion. And it's amazing. Uh, I've been getting a lot of good traction with this. A lot of people have been very receptive these are more examples of cinemagraphs that you can create using the iPad. Uh, and the pen really helps. These cinemagraphs are pretty fun. Um, just an example of what's available first on iOS. Um, my main go-to app is Affinity Photo. This is the app I use every day. And this is the app to show off the capabilities of the iPad Pro. This is... Um, a Photoshop Lightroom replacement for me. Uh, I use it pretty much every day now because it's so powerful. I can import raw files. I can composite layer by layer. Um, I can do this anywhere. So that's why I use it. I can use it while my kids are at karate. I have 45 minutes while he's practicing and I'm, I'm editing you know, content while I'm on, on the go. So this is an example of importing a raw file and doing some retouching to it. I'll color tone, color grade, then I'll digitally weather the vehicle to give it a battle-worn look. This is a good feature. This is called in-paint brushing where you can clean out objects. You can't do it this easy in Photoshop, but you can do it easy in Affinity Photo. Now, here with toys, let me just have a comment real quick on this. I don't like the, the harsh reflection of plastic. And that's one of the things I don't like. So I'll, I'll paint in texture. Um, I'll fill in the joints, as you can see in the arms and legs. You know, I, my goal is to make toys look less like toys. And Infinity is a tool that allows me to do that quickly. Not all of my images are retouched, but a lot of them are now because it's very convenient to do so. Um, I'll do little things. You know, it looks hard, but it's really easy. I'll do little things like painted hair, fur, you know, to give it a little bit more depth to it. This is a simple before and after. Uh, it's very subtle, but there are some, some major edits in it. If you pay attention, there is. Uh, one of the other things I do is a lot of behind the scenes. I'll post stories or, or full posts to show how things are done with Affinity Photo. And my followers enjoy that because they're learning something new and they're like, wow, I can do that? And my answer is always yes. And there's some images I actually take with the iPad and edit with it in it. So it's powerful. Now let's talk about video. So in addition to visuals, I do a lot of stories. This is an app called Hype Type. You can import um, still images or motion video like this and add anim quick animated text. Another app I use is Flyer. This is a subscription-based service. Uh, you gotta pay monthly for it. I use it because I use it for our clients. And it allows you to create a lot of uh, quick mems. Uh, they have a database of MEMS that you can search for. And they make these really snazzy quick intros and outros. So what I'll do with this is I'll make an introduction and I'll make an outro, whatever, like a, a CTA or a call to action. And I use that this for that. Um, so topics may change daily. So I'll just type in something that's trending and 
I use this. Uh, let me give you some examples. So here I imported my own video. This is a text and story. So I use my own text and story, then I just put it in the fire to give it animate text. Some example CTAs, um, just example, more example, quick stories. Um, depending on the mood, uh, these are all animated GIFs that are in the system. There's a lot of them. Uh, you can find quite a bit. So in addition to Fire, I use Adobe Spark Post. Uh, this is a free app. So if you want, you don't want to use Fire, you can use this. It doesn't support video. So I'll, I'll do like still images. Like I said, I'll, I'll post a lot of before and afters um, of how some images are created. And my thing is I'll do three, four, five pieces and I'll, I'll string them together into one composited, one compiled video. Um, so I'll give you an example. So this is Video Shop. This is an app that is both on Android and iOS for, you know, it supports nine by 16. And I have two flyer pieces, one in the beginning and one in the end and two Adobe Sparks in the middle. And what I'll do is I'll adjust the pacing. So make sure it's under 15 seconds or make sure my transitions are three seconds apart. I don't want to, you want it to go by quick. So I'll, I'll adjust the pacing like that. Then uh, I'll add a soundtrack to give it some buzz. So my primary video editing app is Lumi Fusion, and the reason why I use it is because it supports 4K video and different aspect ratio, like 9 by 16 for stories. I also do 4 by 5 ratio. So for example here, this is a 9 by 16 story format. Um, it allows me to place um, 16 by 9 video like that, resize, reposition it. So you can see what I'm doing here is I'm going to reposition it. Um, so I took this video I did, I repositioned it, made it to 9 by 16 import it into hype type, add some animated text, and I have a story, just like that. Um, so I'm using a combination of different apps together in conjunction to make uh, videos. And everything with 256 gigs of storage on the iPad Pro, I can do a lot of content, a lot. So let me show you a full example of an edited piece day later or maybe you know, a few hours later I'm, I might post it behind the scenes like this I'll show the users how I did that that, con that post that one was using Prisma you know I was using Prisma I saved up a bunch of still images uh, and composite them and, and, and blended them together in LumiFusion and my followers love this I get DMs all the time telling me you know I really enjoy learning uh, these new techniques from you um, and this is providing value for the end users and this is using the iPad Pro.